Back to school now and if you're going back into year 13 this is a big year for you. Maybe you're off to uni now and actually you've got some good advice for the current year 13. Leave that in the comment below. I can remember year 13 is probably when I've been most stressed and worried about how I'm doing and when I had to put probably the most work in academically. So I understand where you're coming from, but I'm also able, as my results consistently show, to prepare students really well for exams. So come on a journey with me. My journey to 10K subscribers this year is your journey to the A star. Make sure you're subscribed and you've got notifications on so that you see when I go live, when I do my A-level live shows. Stars, you mean to go on. Review your year 12 notes, but ask yourself how useful they are. Get rid of anything that you don't think is actually worth you looking over again. Change your note making style based on that review. A little bit like when you're in year 11, your school will have the year planned out very, very carefully for you. And they'll have put in place maybe one, maybe two sets of mock exams. And those are the key dates to be working for. I would suggest by that first mock exam, you have covered everything in your A level already. Even if your teacher hasn't covered everything yet, make sure you, as the student, have done at least once through every single part of the syllabus. You can do that yourself with textbooks or videos, but make sure that you understand everything that's coming up and that you aren't getting to the end of year 13 and something new that just completely stumps you right when you're worried about the exams comes up. And make sure you know the papers for your syllabus. Make sure you know exactly what's coming up. Look over those specimens and the past papers that we have now and look for questions that are similar each time because that's very likely going to be the question format that comes up time and time again. Make sure you know exactly what the free papers are all about. If your school doesn't do full sets of mock exams, so like exactly what the exam paper is going to be like, make sure you do, and for that first set of mock exams, you do a full set of exactly what your syllabus will be doing. You can find them online, just use them in a disciplined way and make sure that you have your best go at the questions before you look at the answers. Get into the habit of using your study time during the day well. Find a quiet place in school, somewhere where you're not going to be distracted, quiet place at home and make sure you can study there. And it's really important when you're studying at A-level to use the resources really, really well. It's all too tempting to just think, well, I've got the questions, I've got the answers, think about it, mm, not sure, look at the answers. Well, that's not deep learning. You have to think about it, maybe do it in a timed way, in the same way you do an exam. You have to think about it like you're doing it without the answers. And you have to go through the process of solving that problem as you would for real in an exam. Otherwise, you might as well not. So with each mock exam that you can download, each past paper that you can download, there's really six hours of learning that can go into that. There's probably two hours to actually sit the exam, or an hour and a half or whatever, let's say two hours to sit the exam. There's two hours to go through carefully and mark it and make sure that you have a copy then of a paper which is 100% of all the marks and you know exactly why you get the mark for that question, why you get the mark for that question, why you get the mark for that question and that you know exactly how your work is going to be marked. Then there's two hours of going through it with what's called the examiner's reports. And they're really, really important because they produce this report saying exactly where students are struggling in year A levels. <laughs> and you know what? Those are the areas that they're going to be making sure they test in the next set of exams. So you want to get into the mindset of the examiner, then you're going to need to make sure you read and you apply that in two hours to an exam that you already, already know really, really well, but now you understand why people found it hard and you make sure you aren't going to find those things hard when you come to your real exam. Discuss your subject with your teachers and with your friends. I promise you the kids that get the highest marks, they're always the most interested. So find reasons to enjoy this year because otherwise it's just going to be a stress. <laughs> So as I say, in year 13, it's all about making sure that you go through that process. You make sure that you are ready and you've covered everything once by January so that you aren't going to be surprised by anything come Easter time that's new and you're not sure about. When you come to do the lesson on that new topic that you know is coming up, it's not going to be the first time that you've gone through it. You're not going to be surprised. You're not going to find it as hard as everyone else. You're going to make sure that you can fill in the gaps that you have. Don't let yourself be distracted this year. Focus. In year 13, make sure that you use resources really, really well and that you find resources that are challenging enough. Revision guides and YouTube tutorials, although they're going to cover everything really, really well, they don't challenge you to be able to 
answer the question to the level that's expected under the pressure of the exam situation. Don't be satisfied with what you're studying until you are confident about it, until you are fluent and you're ready for those exams. I know that you can do it. Come with me on a journey because my journey to 10k subscribers this year is your journey to getting your best grade, which hopefully is going to be that A star. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed and you've got notifications on so you see when I go live because throughout the year I'm hoping to do A-level physics live shows. You might not be in year 13 studying your A-levels this year, maybe you've gone off to university, but why not leave a comment to say what you wish you'd have known at the start of your year 13.